Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and it's 2.40 p.m., and it's Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. I haven't made a video in over a week, but I'm anyway. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a soda I found at my local grocery store, Homeland. You know, they have those all those, like, interesting, unique sodas, you know? This was, like, $1.90, so, you know, okay priced. But I'm um, anyway, I reviewed uh, this brand before, like, some of their drinks, but this is a different flavor. But, um, anyway, this one might be pretty good. We shall see. It might be interesting, you know, that's for sure. But I'm um, anyway, today I'm going to be trying the Rocket Fizz, Marshmallow, Pure Cane Sugar Soda. So, oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's interesting because this is like sort of relates to the Mandela effect because the globe on it, South America is more like south of North America in real life now because of the Mandela effect and stuff to me anyway. South America is more way towards the east, you know, of North America. But I'm um, anyway, this is like more how like I remember North America, South America being like directly under it, you know, how it was when I was in school when we did the map tests and stuff and I got hundreds on all of them. So, you know, it's interesting that the globe has changed for me anyway, but I'm um, anyway. Yeah, the color of the liquid's like a whitish off-white, a little bit grayish color. And the bottle on the top, it says Rocket Fizz, and it shows a guy on a rocket going around the globe. It says Rocket Fizz, Rocket Fizz. Rocket Fizz Pure Cane Sugar Marshmallow, made in the USA, www.rocketfizz.com. 12 foot ounces, 355 milliliters. Has some recycling stuff and other ingredients. Intellectual property of involved by the Rocket Fist Soda Pop and Candy Shops LLC PO Box 3663 Camarillo, California 93011. The bottom is just nothing. No mold number or anything. On this side it has SKU and the nutrition facts. Nutritional facts are size 12 ounces, calories 170. Total fat 0 grams, sodium 25 milligrams, total carbs 43 grams, sugars 42 grams, protein 0 grams. So yeah, it's high in sugar, that's for sure. But um, yeah, not too much on the bottle, so you know. I'll let you see it right quick. It's just a rocket too, on the lid. On the side of it, you know. Some code thing. I guess that's the best by date. November 6, 2020. The production date. I'm not really for sure. If it's the best by date, then it's past the best by date. But you know what I mean? Um, anyway. Can't really see it with the lighting and stuff. Yeah, it's a cloudy day. It looked like it was going to rain, but it didn't. The sun was starting to come out earlier, but um, it didn't. Only for a little bit. Yeah, this one's Marshmallow. Hopefully it'll taste like the Marshmallow Rockstar, because I really like that Rockstar. Even though, like, a lot of people don't really like it too much. But I like it anyway. Okay. okay there's the nutritional facts. Guy on the rocket, you know, holding the soda and the globe. Very interesting logo, you know. Sounds like it's going to be an interesting flavor to marshmallow. I'm going to shake it up a teeny bit, then I'm going to open it, try it, and taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it pretty easily. Started smoking a little bit when I opened it. Inside the lid is nothing. But I'm anyway the smell. Ooh, definitely like a vanilla scent. My lips are dry, but I'm anyway. Yeah, definitely like a sweet vanilla scent. Doesn't really smell like marshmallow, so you know. Maybe a little bit like when you're right up close to it, but it mostly smells vanilla. A little bit like their birthday cake soda that I tried before. The Lester's Fixins one, anyway. Not really Rocket Fizz, but I'm anyway. It smells a little bit like that. Like a birthday cake, vanilla, like, you know, type of flavor. Also reminds me of the, um, vanilla Dunkaroos, which I reviewed earlier today. I filmed that review earlier, but I'll probably upload it after this one, but I'm um, anyway. 
Yeah, it smells like how those tasted. Like a sweet vanilla, but not too sweet. So you know what I mean? But anyway, now I'm going to try it. So here goes. Smooth. A little bit fizzy. You can take a sip of it. A little bit carbonated, but not too carbonated. You can probably chug it if you want to. Be up and taste how it smells. It doesn't really taste like marshmallows, you know. The best marshmallow drink I've had is the Marshmallow Rockstar. That one really tastes like marshmallow. This tastes like that a little bit, but um, only a little bit. Say about 20% marshmallow flavor. The Rockstar was like 80 or 90% marshmallow flavor. This one, though, tastes more like a birthday cake type of flavor or vanilla type of flavor. So, you know. Definitely a strong, pungent vanilla flavor. Um, Not too sweet, but it is sweet, though. Definitely has a lot of pure cane sugar, you know, in it. So, you know. But yeah, it's actually really good. Even though it doesn't really taste like marshmallow. It's still really good, though. Definitely like a vanilla soda, so you know. So if you don't like vanilla or birthday cake, you'll probably like this flavor soda, you know. Even though it says it's marshmallow, it doesn't really taste like marshmallow. So, you know, it could have been stronger marshmallow-wise. But still, definitely pretty good, you know. It was okay price. It was $1.90 at my local grocery store. Has a cool ball design. It tastes really good. Just wish it tasted more marshmallow than vanilla. But, you know, it's still really good, though. Highly recommend it. I'm probably going to give the Marshmallow Rocket Fizz Soda. Probably going to give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah, boys, it's lit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Definitely a really good flavored soda. But, um... Doesn't really taste like marshmallow too much, maybe only a little bit. But if you haven't had a stronger marshmallow flavor like the marshmallow rockstar, then it'd be like really lit, and then it'd be like really lit. But still a really good sweet vanilla type of birthday cake type of flavor, you know. So still pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a nine out of ten. Oh yeah. Anyways, for more reviews, for more videos, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.